most of my time is spent doing research, but I actually also run a clinic uh, at UCSF, uh, treating people with insomnia, circadian rhythm disorders, and kind of other sleep disorders. Sleep is something that we never wonder how it works until it stops working. And then we get really focused on it. But sleep isn't something that you do. It's something that comes to you. It's something that kind of washes over you. So what, what do we know in the, uh, the science of sleep that can actually improve your sleep? For people that don't have any sleep problems, when they get in bed, the bed itself is like this really strong environmental trigger to help people fall asleep. You let go when you get in bed. And, and it turns out the bed is like a hammer that brings on sleep when people kind of get in it. But what happens if you continue to have bad nights of sleep, you know, your mind is racing, those types of things, it hurts that relationships that your body forgets. It gets confused that the bed is supposed to bring on sleep. The only way to deal with that is to kind of break the relationship, to actually get out of bed, start to feel sleepy again, and then kind of repair that, that environmental trigger. Sleep is not just like an on-off switch. You know, it may kind of feel like you're left the world, but in fact, there's a lot of important things that happen while we're sleeping.